guys welcome to my channel which is the Shellfire Beauty Reviews now I haven't been on for quite some time for these makeup reviews because as always well not as always but as many people know um, things get in the way obviously of being able to make a video and obviously life <laughs> life happens so today I'm going to be doing a video about, basically I'm going to be doing a video of what I wear when I go to college. So this is my makeup routine for a college day. It's going to be nice and simple, nothing over the top. So we'll get started. So before I do anything else, I put my hairband in. stops my makeup from getting in my hair. So if I just pop that in and then bring it up now I've already cleansed my face did a face cleanse wash and what I used for that was this charcoal deep cleansing scrub for refreshed clarified skin activated charcoal and clay and it unblocks pores exfoliates skin and removes impurities within the face so i use that on a daily basis i use it of a morning and i also use it of a night time as well when i'm removing my makeup for the day so we'll get started i've brought now i've got a ton of makeup i've got it in a case i've got it in the bathroom i've got it virtually a lot of places but this one is mainly what I use for my travel makeup case and I also use this for my college case well for my makeup college case as well because it's where I keep my less um say less it's where I keep my more natural oddments and sodments so I'm just going to roll out my makeup brushes and we're going to start with what we're going to start with today is this um what this is is it's from mua makeup academy and it is the pro based moisturizing primer so it's like a moisturizer and a primer in one so with that i'll put about a pea size amount onto my finger about that much just dab it in with both my fingers and i'll just dot it all around the face just to make sure that my face gets an even amount so I probably could have done with some wet wipes so I'm just blending that in when I'm putting things on my face like foundation I do use beauty buds and brushes and that but for the primer and moisturizer I do just use my fingers which I don't know if you should but I do <laughs> so I've just got that into the skin just blended it down and also when you're doing the moisturize and primer as well always blend it down the neck as well because obviously your neck still needs the moisture the moisturizer so next thing what i do is foundation and the foundation we're going to go with today which i keep here in my bag which i usually use for college is the super stay foundation and it is 24 hour four coverage foundation and it is by maybelline I knew it was by Maybelline, I was just checking. So, with this, because I've noticed it, sometimes when you pump it out, a bit comes out. So, I just get the back of my hand. Just pop a bit on the back of my hand, because this does go far. It does go far, and it does give a really good coverage. So, I'll get my trusty foundation brush, which I think I do need another one. And I just dab it lightly in there. And I do this bit by bit. I just start blending it into the face. Right there. Because I always find when you do it bit by bit as well. You find that you're not using too much. It's always best. Not to talk on you. <laughs> putting foundation around your face. It's always best to go little bit by bit then actually do it all at once because it's always best to build up on it i say well everybody does it differently but this is how i actually do it myself so i'm just blending that in there just getting the forehead bit there and i will get foundation on there so i've probably already have so i'm just blending it out here now this foundation is very it does look very light for my skin type 
but because I do put a matte powder over the top it does actually does actually oxidize a little bit so what's also as well when I'm doing my foundation I always make sure that I go down the neck area because obviously nobody wants that big round ring around your face when you put your foundation on so to me this actually helps for the foundation to blend in now when I've applied the foundation on because I don't seem to use blusher that much because I'm not really that much into blusher and I'm not that experienced I use my blusher brush and I just use the brush to give it a buffing because sometimes I'm not sure when you find that when you're doing your foundation it actually you seem to have like these sometimes the streak lines across your face so I just find that this helps to buff it in a little bit and I always make sure I go down the neck as well round the neck area and round the eye area as well now it is, does look quite light but I'm happy with that I quite like my foundation light so next thing what I like to do is I like to give it a bit of a mac like a bit of a powder over my face so I get one of my trusty powder palettes because I only put a little bit on this one is from makeup gallery and smoothly does it press powder and this is in the shade sand 4 and I didn't tell you what shade the foundation was in. The foundation was in the shade 03 True Ivory as well. So we're just going to get that. Open that up. Get my powder brush which I use to apply my powder foundation. And this one was from TK Maxx. And it is, it's actually worn off. It's, I think it says BH Cosmetics V1 could be wrong because it has worn off but I love love this brush the first time I had this brush it was so soft and it still is now so I love it so I'll get my powder foundation just give it a little bit of a tap and then tap off the excess powder and then just lightly just dab that all over my face just to make sure that my face has got that bit of extra coverage and it does have that matte if you do prefer the matte effect, if you do like the dewy type of foundation, then I'd probably say powder foundation might not be for you, but it depends what you like, what your preference is. You can see there where I've already got the foundation at the top. So I'm just dabbing that in there, just blending it in. There, not forgetting the neck area, because again, we don't want the streak lines going across the neck and the chin area so next thing is eyebrows now I do sometimes take more care when I'm doing these eyebrows now I use two types of eyebrow palettes I use the Revolution the medium colour and I've also got this one from MUA Makeup Academy now I love this one this is all in one shape shade and highlight and this is the darker shade and it comes with some tweezers you get your brush but I must admit the brush applicator I, I don't, I'm not that keen on it because it, it, the bristles are quite tough on it so I find it's difficult to be able to do your eyebrows properly the only time that I'd use it which I'd use a slanted end was to put the I think it's like a sealer over when you've put the colour over to help it stay on but as you can see I ran out of that <laughs> so we're just going to go with the colour with the eyebrows today and I'm going to use a flat end of my eyebrow brush and I'm going to go with the brown shade so just dab that in tap it on the end to get the excess off and oh, just want to make sure got a bit of foundation that I haven't actually blended in there so I'm just giving it lightly over the eye because I don't want it to go obviously too dark because of being a college. Well it depends really, you can go as dark as you like when you're at college. But this is what I prefer. I usually just give it a stroke over there and you can tell obviously the difference there. So I'm just going to tap it on the end. Just 
can see here where I haven't actually blended in the foundation <laughs> the little bits you do get that sometimes it's because when I'm doing my makeup I'm usually looking in the big mirror in the bathroom but because I'm using the light from the phone from the camera it seems to miss those dots you just go over there and like I said with my eyebrows I do usually go over with one of the creams to seal in the eyebrow powder the eyebrow look so actually I think I did go a little bit too much with that <laughs> but hey ho so that is just a quickie with the eyebrows then the next thing that I'm going to go with is a bit of eyeshadow as well. And the eyeshadow we're going to be using today is this by Maybelline New York. And it's the blushed nude shades. And as you can tell, two of those. I think the one I actually ran out of, but the other one, it got broken. Unfortunately, I lost the shade of the eyeshadow. So we're just going to go with some nice neutral shades today. And just to put a base on my shadow in the creases, I'm going to be using this brush by number 7, which I've got in a set. And the colour, I think the colour we're going to go with today is we're going to go with these two here, like the lighter colours. So I'm going to use the lighter one, just have my brush in there, and I'm going to apply that to my crease area. Now, I think this look is a really nice look for, obviously, if they are stricter at colleges, because I know sometimes they can be, but you do, obviously, like me, need and want that makeup on. This is a nice, really nice, natural colour. So, what I'll do with that as well is, when I go in with a colour later, I will actually blend that in. So, just to blend the edges out as well, I do get my slanted brush and I usually just give it a little going over just to blend the edges out. And as you can see, the colour does look really, really light. But as I said, this is a colour, I use shades I usually go with for a natural shade. Now, the palette does come with a brush of its own, but... I don't really use it cause with this sometimes with the brushes you get with the palettes I find they don't work for me so to put on my bottom lid I use this other brush by number seven with a small brush and I use that to apply the bottom bit so we're gonna go with that bottom shade there which I don't think I can remember I can't remember the name of that but we're gonna go with that one uh, dust off and I just tap it over the eye I used to I used to brush it on like that until I actually realised myself it didn't stick on that easily so we just go over it there and what we're going to do in a minute is when we've done this we're going to put a little bit under the eye so just blend it in there And the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit under the eye to give it a bit of a shadow, shadowy effect. I don't know if it's that right word. So for that one, I'm going to be daring and I'm going to go in with that grey type charcoal one. So what I usually do for this bit to make sure that I don't put too much under is just lightly tap my brush on the end of it and 
as you can see I'm just coming under the either water line there and I'm also making sure that I don't actually poke myself in the eye at the same time so I just find it gives it that more depth to the eye now usually the next thing before I tell you the next thing what I usually do is as well I'll get this brush back what I've used before and I'll get the light colour which is that one and I'll put my brush in a little bit but not too much because I don't want too much product on the brush and I just lightly just go under the eyebrow to give it that slight raised effect. and I just find it actually helps for me to, for my actual eyelids to look wider because they are quite slanted thinner so the next bit what I'd usually do if I wasn't at college I would go in with a liquid liquid with a liquid eyeliner and go over the top of the eyes but because I'm just doing just a normal simple college look I'm going to apply the mascara so the mascara that I'm using which I absolutely love I find it is really good is this false lash false lash effect <laughs> I couldn't get my words out then and it's extreme length definition and volume and I got this for £2.50 from Primark so Primark is very good for the makeup so I just give it a nice Just a light brushing over. So if you excuse me, I'll just get the mirror here. Sorry, I've gone quiet now. I always go quiet when I apply my mascara. <laughs> Because I'm concentrating on not poking myself in the eye. So that is that. And sometimes when I'm not at college, I will go in with another mascara just to give it that extra volume. But today we're going to stick with the one. So uh, the last thing I usually do is I just go on with the lips and I go in with a lip liner and the lip liner that I'm going to be using is this one by L'Oreal and this is Indefectible Lip Liner Crayon and it is in the shade, I don't know, ah, it's in the shade 715 Unlimited brown and this eye lip liner is one that you take the cap off and you can actually twist it so I've used this quite a few times I'm not exactly sure how much is left but I usually just go over the lips with this one Just give it a light going over there and the last thing I go in with is the lipstick and I have not got that much lipstick in this bag because I keep it sweet and simple so the lip colours that I've got here is I've got a lucrative lip gloss Moonstruck Minerals by Unique and I also have this lipstick which is darker and this one is from L'Oreal and it's Colour Rich 121 and it is in the shade Honey Brown so we're going to go with this one because this is my favourite as you can see what the shade is there it looks kind of red on there but it isn't red it's actually a brown And 
just rub my lips together just to make sure there's an even amount and that is basically it that is my makeup look what I do for college on everyday college course so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that press that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and also on the notification so you'll be notified of when I bring out the next video and thank you for watching and I shall see you again